Okay guys, I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw this post blowing up with 4 million views. It says, I wrote a letter to the guy who planned the murder of my best friend and then actually killed her. This is tragic. I wasn't sure which girl was writing the letter, so I went to the account. Okay, this is the girl that wrote the letter. Oh, okay, so this is the friend she lost. Oh, that's so sad. Dear Shane. Oh, this him? Oh, damn. There's some Jeffrey Dahmer energy coming out of this picture. And this says trigger warning. So anyone that's watching this, this show trigger warning, bro. So this might be not this might not be for you. She said, You were my friend once too. You were my brother, and you were the only guy who physically put yourself between me and my abusive boyfriend. Because you didn't want him to hurt me. Little did I know I would end up putting myself between you and my best friend to stop you from doing the same only months later. Oh my god. That was the first day I became a witness to who you truly were. I mourn the bond that I had with you every day, but more ever, I mourn the person you forever took away from the world on February 8th. Damn, six days away from Valentine's Day is crazy, bro. She said, you need to read this. I've been thinking about this letter for over two years. I've wondered how I'm going to say what I want to say to you without sounding completely immature. I don't know how you can sound immature. He, he killed your friend. I've started and discarded around 30 alternative versions of what I should and shouldn't say to you. I've even gone as far as putting myself in your shoes, but my mind hits a block in the road every time I begin to theorize what could have been going through your mind on the night Amanda took her final breath of the shallow air you deprived her from breathing. This shit is dark, y'all. Got anyone that's been in like an abusive relationship or whatever, bro, this might not be for you. This might not be for you. She's really trying to understand why he did this. She said, it turns out I can't imagine being you. I can't imagine how deluded from reality a person would have to be to successfully take the life of another human being, especially a person who would never do the same to you. Even if that person had to choose between self-defense or losing their life, that person still wouldn't choose to rob you of a future. That person would have surrendered and hoped with every beat of their naive heart you'd stop the attack. Seek immediate medical aid that would have saved their life and reduced your prison sentence significantly. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I'm getting nervous. I feel like I'm gonna see some like very like explicit like she about to write some very explicit things. I'm kind of I'm a little nervous. When your parents forgave you, I was consumed by anger, and that anger has not left me since. Well, it's his parents, so like it does make sense that they would forgive him, and they're probably just as confused as you are. Y'all ever hear those stories where like, it'll be like this person killed these five people and blah, 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 blah. And then when you go online and everyone has their comment about it, I never expected this from them. They were such a great person, blah, 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 blah. That nobody ever really sees that shit coming. She said, I found God. I believe in the same God that your parents preach about on social media. As if it's going to convince onlookers to see their murderous son in a better light than the one he casted upon himself. I will never forgive you and God will never expect me to. The only one who has the right to forgive you is Amanda, but she's not here to make that decision, is she? She's not floating around somewhere out on another plane of immortal existence where she has the enlightenment to forgive you. She's gone. She is not able to see you. She isn't somewhere within your presence. She isn't smiling down on anyone, and she isn't in a better place. This handwriting is neat as hell, but the, I, can, I, I can feel her feelings. I can feel her feelings. And it, and it sounds like rage. This feels like rage. You ripped away the opportunities from her permanently. Even if the Christianized idea of heaven is real, even though the God is real in my heart, even if science has proven that energy cannot be deleted like an error on a computer, but can be transferred to another undiscovered source, ghosts are not real and angels are sadly not, not the newfound reality that she has evolved to. She was a human being, and a human being only gets one chance, one body, and one ability to share a mutual connection with anything on the entirety of planet Earth. Do you know what that means, Shane? She doesn't forgive you, and she never will. That also means whenever you wake up in the middle of a night terror, or whenever your day is disrupted by a reminiscence of her laugh, or her final screams as she choked on the blood that filled her lungs, what did he, what did he do? Did he, did he stab her? Whenever you flash back to the first moment you both walked through the door holding your newborn son. Oh my God, they had a kid. Oh. Or the memory of how you relentlessly stabbed her. Oh, it was that. Oh my God, strangled her, punched or even kicked her. 
you will have to return to your current reality and realize all over again that you're not being haunted by her soul. You're being haunted by your own consequences, which is something far worse because there is no ability to repair or change that source of information. You created a lifetime of toxic memories and I feel relieved to know how slowly they will poison you until you can no longer find a path back into real life. The pain in this writing is crazy. She said one day you will either rot away from self-induced insanity or you'll find a way to get out of your prison cell to rejoin the rest of the world. But either way, you'll endure an unfathomable misery which will lead to your well-deserved death. Until that moment comes, I'll be praying that you experience as much pain as possible as a result of your own selfishness. You're cold. You're cruel. You're insufferable. You're a burden. You aren't worthy of any woman's attention, and you're surely not worthy of the opportunity to had to be a father to your son. Imagine growing up, and then the reason why you don't have your father in your life is because he killed your mom. That shit's crazy. This is, this is crazy, bro. Ah. Oh. Since nobody else will say it, I will. You're the biggest disappointment and failure of a man that I've ever had the dissatisfaction of speaking to. You said once that you hate yourself so much you couldn't envision a reason why someone would ever love you. Back then, I responded with empathy. I didn't want you to suffer because of self-loathing. But now, I agree with you. I truly do not know why anyone would ever be able to love you. You are unlovable, and I wish I told you that instead back then. Because the truth is, the world would be a better place if you unalived yourself. Because then she would still be here. She should still be here. But you, you never should have been born. As I said, this handwriting is neat as hell. But this is, but this is, I, the rage is all up in this. Oh my God, I am so sorry. You, and and on top of that, yes, this little, this letter, bro, this was mature. This was mature, and I am proud of you. And and, and sometimes you gotta write this letter to get your feelings out, bro. But that's this is this is wow. Outstanding use of language, beautifully written, no cap. May Amanda rest in please. <sighs> this is one of the most beautifully written things I've ever read. Your emotions and thoughts are spilled all over those papers. I hope he lives an A plus. How the fuck you give him an A plus? Oh, a life that he deserves. Something worse than he made Amanda feel. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? The slight change in writing when it went from calm to anger was subtle, but but noticed. Right, bro. That was so damn satisfying to read. You're a real one for standing up for your friend like that, and she would be proud. Yeah, bro. The only person that has the right to forgive you is Amanda, but she's not here to make the decision, is she? I'm so sorry. I know. You're not being haunted by her soul. Right. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm about to look this up right now. There has to be an article about this. Amanda Black, February 8th. Oh, my God. There's an article. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Amanda Black's murder has sparked a conversation on the issue of domestic violence and the need to advocate for its prevention. On February 8th, Amanda Black, a young mother and a resident of Fort St. John, was brutally killed by her ex-boyfriend and the father of her infant child, Shane Sutherland, just a few days before her, her 23rd birthday. Oh my God. Amanda's death is a tragic reminder of the growing instances of domestic violence, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. While the safety of Amanda's offspring is paramount, her killing sheds light on the need to prevent other victims from meeting the same fate. The evening of Amanda's dark homicide, she was found dead in her condo in Post St. John. While the police have not put out any authority announcements on the thought process behind the homicide, it is affirmed that Amanda knew her assailant. Shane Sutherland, the murderer, has been accused of second degree murder and stays in guardianship. Amanda's companions recollected her as a caring mother, a gutsy person who faced harassers and someone intensely for music. Her demise has shocked her whole local area, with many battling to find a sense of peace with the misfortune. <sighs> I just I just can't think of a reason why he would do this. I've heard stories where like sometimes like it'll be like a couple and like the wife wants to leave, so the man gets mad or she cheated. And then he like just comes home, takes them all out and himself. I've heard stories like that, but I, but then he, the baby is still here. So I'm not exactly 
and he's still alive too. So I'm not, I'm not sure what happened. I, what, in the comments, what do you think happened? I just don't know. And like nobody expected it. So it's like, what hap What happened? Or he could have been just like a super abusive narcissist. I know that happens too. So like, I do know that for a fact. That happens a lot too. So I just don't know, bro. I don't know. Wow, guys, it ends there, bro. What do y'all think about this?